Hello everyone, this is Special Prince with our Total War Warhammer 2 Tournament Match cast! Well, this is not really a tournament, this is more of a special event. Kind of a tournament in a way, I guess. So, this is King of the Hill, hosted by Turin, and um... This is an interesting one because I'm playing here as the Dark Elves, and Flying Taco is in command of the Lizardmen. The interesting part is not the factions, but, you know, the fact that Flying Taco has actually won two games uh, thus far. And now I'm going to be the challenger to see if I can, um, you know, take over the role as king. Uh, well, I wouldn't be leading in terms of wins, but, you know, Taco would be out of the running. So there's that. Anyway. Um, time to go over the composition. So I have Malekith just with Soul Stealer. Uh, you know, that's nothing uh, too surprising. Malekith is Malekith after all. There he is, the man himself. Now, of course, um, I have a couple of these Dark Riders with repeater crossbows, three of them. Um, now I have two Cold, one Knight. In terms of the melee line, well, I have, looks like, one, two, three, four, four red spears. I was going to say spearmen, because thinking I'm high, high elves. I do have three black guards of Nagaron. One of them has uh, one chevron. For a lizardman here, um, well, we do have, of course, well, not of course, but we have Nakai the Wanderer here. What kind of abilities has he got? Let's take a quick look here so yeah this is hard to say okay yes primal roar we have cold-blooded as well and that is it for Nakai then we do have um, let's see uh, skirmisher wise we have skin cohorts with javelins one on the left flank two on the right flank um, and one in the back so that makes for four total we do have two Sacred Croxy Gores, uh, Razor Dun Hunting Pack, mm, that Cold One Rider over there, a bunch of these Saurus Warriors with shields, that's three of them, so that's not the max amount, which is five normally. And Skin Cohorts, how many? We have two Skin Cohorts, okay, that's it. So, it is time to hit play and check out the game. So right now I have my Dark Riders with repeater crossbows. This isn't what they want to fight, you know, the skin cores with javelins. Not what they want to fight here. Uh, they want to actually get juicy shots off at like Soros Warriors or Cold One. Or, you know, these monsters, the scab stuff. Oh, I forgot there's a skink priest here. Let's not forget about him. There's the skink priest. He has transformation of Kadan and Flock of Doom, Cold Blooded and Wild Heart. Alright, so. Good going here. We have Malekith uh, over there. He's trying to actually get some uh, good positioning to attack. Uh, yeah, he's trying to get a position to attack the enemy. So here comes the engagement. I'm gonna, you know, go around like this so you can see more of the engagement down the line. You can see Malekith's going down onto this skink cohort with Javelin. So Malekith's already up to 12 kills. He's gonna get engaged here though, which is gonna be problematic for him. I do have more Cold One Knights coming around. Dark Riders with repeated crossbows are going to try and in take the engagement here as well. Feral Manticore is engaged. I am going to pop a pretty big uh, Soul Stealer over here. I, I actually do hit the Feral Manticore as well. So that's pretty good for me. Malekith here is doing work. I'm getting some really big shots off here with these Dark Riders with repeated crossbows into the Cold One Riders here. That should be uh, dealing with them. However, there's still a blob here. Nakai is fighting. Uh, skin cores with javelins are engaged here. Uh, Sacred Croxigors are attacking Malekith himself. There's engagements going on here. Um, looks like the Cold One Riders are going to get a rear charge off onto the Black Guards of Nagaron. However, I have Dread Spears here supporting. Black Guards here should be beating those Saurus Warriors. My Cold One Knights have routed here. However, I have Malekith engaged here. I have these Cold One Knights actually fighting it all in between all these units. However, this is keeping those units from supporting against Malekith. Malekith is routed, which is very bad for me. Um, and there is, of course, Flock of Doom that was popped here. Um, there is Fer The Feral Manticore is actually chasing off against Malekith. 
However, I am getting more shots off into those Sacred Coxigors. Um, Pearl Manticore is going to expire. But it does actually charge into the Dark Riders. Um, I'm still targeting the Kai to wonder, or am I? I'm I should be firing into this huge blob here. That would be good for me, but... Right now, the game isn't looking great. Feral Manticore is actually doing quite a bit of damage to my Dark Riders. We repeat the crossbows. That Blackheart is winning over there. I'm chasing for too long here with these Dread Spears. That's definitely a mistake. My Cold One Knights here are routed off the field. Still, I have three Dark Riders with repeater crossbows, which, you know, I'm using to target down those Sacred Croxigors, I think. So, yeah, they're actually taking quite a bit of damage here, which is good. I'm gonna go for a big charge here with Cold One Knights. Um, Black Arts here are winning against the Saurus Warriors. That is great. That is really what you expect. Um, looks like there's another Feral Manticore spawn here. Come on. Uh, Dark Riders are being chased off by Cold One Riders. This is... Not good for me. I mean, their speed is, you know, not as fast as mine. Actually, you see 70 speed here. 92 speed now, so there they go. Fast boys are on their way. Still, uh, you know, Malekith is engaging here against Feral Manticore and against Cold One Riders. This could be problematic for Malekith, you know, like... He's fighting here, but this is not where he usually... He doesn't want to be in such big blobs here. Against the, you know, without too much support. He does have a Dread Spear helping him, but that really isn't that much. So, there he is. He's gonna run away. At this point, it's not looking too good. However, I do have more Cold One Knights killing off Sacred Croxigors and Skick Cohort, uh, cohort uh, Javelins. Black Arts here are alive, so because I have Black Arts alive, these units here could save the game for me. Um, still too many Skin Cohorts with Javelins. However, these Dark Riders with Repeater Crossbows have decent amounts of ammo left, and they can actually do damage to these Cold One Riders, so... They're actually following and targeting those. Um, here, the Manticore is chasing me, however, it's going to expire soon, so this won't be a huge issue, because Malekit is going to be fine. There's an engagement here, um, we can actually go down here and watch these charges here that are going down. So, the Dread Spears here, no issue whatsoever, that's not gonna be a problem. Malakit's still trying to go around and, you know, get some good hits on the enemy. But, you know, this is pretty hard, because he's very low on HP, so I can't afford to be too wasteful with him. However, the Dark Riders here have been actually changing things in my favor. Because uh, they're, they've been getting some really good shots off onto these Cold One Riders. Now, the Dread Spears here are engaged onto these Cold One Riders. Which is very good for me. I've actually killed off that Razor Than Hunting pack as well. So now, Balance of Power is going in my favor. Um, despite Malekith taking such a huge beating at the start. So th this is definitely going in his favor. I'd say, especially as the Skin Priest is now engaged in melee against the Dread Spears. But, um, that's actually going to be fine. Because the Saurus Warriors are supporting there. Blackguard here should... Kill the skin cohort in melee there. Uh, oh, I wasted some shots with these Dark Riders. I shouldn't have shot the skin cohorts. Those guys are all around as well. I have more Dread Spears. More Dread Spears coming back. I'm getting some really good shots off here with these uh, Dark Riders as well. Not sure why I'm targeting this. This, this is a huge waste of ammo, especially because they have like not much ammo left. Really bad. Oh, they got the Cold Blood puffed on here from the Kai onto those Cold One Riders. That is going to help. There's going to be some engagements here, so we really should be taking a look at them. Here comes Nakai. Slapping people down. Um, the Dark Riders again shooting what they're not supposed to, so that's definitely a huge mistake. But uh, now there's a breath attack onto Nakai from Malekith himself. But Nakai's really doing work here. I mean, just look at Nakai. And yeah, he actually got rid of that unit of black guards. Good for Nakai. Um, I still have more Dark Riders here. Again, shooting the wrong units. It's not good. However, there's gonna be a big blob fight here. Which, you know, Malekith himself is gonna start going into. Uh, Dread Spears here holding very well. I'm not sure why there's a huge blob fight by... Three here, so... Dark Rider charge, actually. Now here comes Malekith himself. Die 
dive on in here. You know, Nakai is here as well, but this isn't gonna go great for him. You know, he is not looking so hot. And now he's running off the field, or soon will be, rather. Hello, Nakai. He's actually stomping people down here, but this isn't really enough. Oh, there's a huge breath attack onto Nakai there. And these black guards are hitting him down, and that's going to be game, so... I take the win here against Flying Taco. Um, as you can see, Black Guard's really playing for themselves here, gaining veterancy. I like it doing some work, but not as much as you think. These two Cold One Knights actually did the same amount of damage. Very impressive as each other. <laughs> Black Rider's doing some work, but really, I mean, these won me the game, but I also could have used them even better, right? I mean, they were on fire at will near the end, but they actually wasted some shots off into skin cohorts. I think the Javelin version of them as well, so... It's not too... I mean, it's not as bad if they actually have... If these skin cohorts have ammo left. But I still wouldn't do it. But it was even worse in this case because they had no ammo left, so... You know, when you have bigger targets like, I don't know, Saurus Warriors... Uh, or Nakai or Gink Priest, something else, you know, or Cold One Riders or... Sacred Croxigors, you know, you kind of really should be... Trying to target them, right? Anyway, that's the game. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on social media. See you all next time.